everyone, my name is Bola Shokumbi. I'm the founder and CEO of Clever Girl Finance, and I'm also the author of the book, Clever Girl Finance, Ditch Debt, Save Money, and Build Real Wealth. Welcome to Clever Girl Finance TV. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about personal finance and luxury shopping, and the sometimes guilt from shopping, and also the societal perception that comes with luxury shopping. Are you financially irresponsible if you buy luxury items? And this video is inspired by finance YouTuber Cherry Tung, who did an awesome video on this topic. And so I also wanted to share my own thoughts on this topic as well. And we will be sure to link Cherry Tung's video in the description below. Before we get into this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you love the content that we share here on Clever Girl Finance. Follow us on Instagram at Clever Girl Finance. We have a great time there. And be sure to visit the clevergirlfinance.com website where we have over 30 plus completely free courses to help you as you work on achieving your financial goals. So personally, I love fine jewelry. I love designer handbags. I'm a huge fan of brands like Chanel and Hermes and a lot of the luxury brands that you see many fashionistas and YouTubers talk about. I love, you know, these different items. And there's a chance that if you see me out Side of social media, I may have a luxury item um, like a handbag or a piece of fine jewelry that I'm wearing. And I have found that I have been judged a lot in the past when I've talked about uh, my handbag collection that I sold or I've talked about my love for luxury items. And I find that the judgment comes more so from me being female right um, buying handbags or buying fine jewelry or even talking about money mistakes that i've made in the past with some of the luxury items that i purchased and there is definitely a lot of shame and judgment when it comes to luxury shopping and i find that more so this judgment and this shame is placed upon women you know women are typically depicted as emotional shopaholics and unreasonable spenders and i hate that whole depiction i hate that stereotype so much because in many instances that is so far from the truth there are those people who feel that if you spend your money on luxury goods then you are financially irresponsible and of course yes there are people who are keeping up with the joneses buying things that they cannot afford and are being financially irresponsible by buying these items, but that's not the case for everyone. And you cannot group everyone into this bucket of judgment because you see one person being irresponsible based on their luxury purchases. I know a lot of women within the Clever Girl Finance community, within the personal finance space who have spent years paying off debt or spent years saving for a big goal. And once they reach that debt payoff, once they achieve that goal, then they started saving to buy a luxury item for themselves, like a handbag or a piece of fine jewelry. And in my opinion, there's nothing irresponsible about wanting to treat yourself when you have achieved a really big goal and when it's not at the expense of your finances or your other life goals. These women are not financially irresponsible, in fact, far from it. And I would dare say that when a man talks about his luxury purchases and he shares his latest car or watch purchase, the judgment is not nearly severe as the judgment that is placed on women who share their own luxury purchases. And you can definitely see this for yourself, you know, when you look at the comment section um, on the different YouTubers, you know, guys and women who unbox different things, you can always tell in the comments, especially when people are leaving hateful comments, that the judgment is more severe on women than it is on men, unfortunately. And again, this is something I really, really dislike. So here's my take. I have savings, I have investments, I am not financially irresponsible, and I love luxury items. And that is perfectly okay. There is absolutely nothing wrong with buying or owning luxury items if you can afford them, and as long as they're not at the expense of your financial goals or putting you into debt or drilling you from your big objectives for your life. However, from an individual perspective, this is something that each person has to determine for themselves. So when you're looking at to buy a luxury item, 
you really want to take a look at how is this going to impact your savings? How is this going to impact your investments? How is this going to impact your financial goals? You have to determine that for yourself to make sure that if you're buying luxury items, it makes sense for you and you can truly afford them. And if you have the money and your financial goals are not impacted, you feel financially secure, by all means, buy the items you love and enjoy them. That's the whole point, right? When you work so hard to earn money, it's okay to treat yourself, to spend your money on things that bring you joy. And it could be a handbag, it could be a piece of fine jewelry, it could be a car, it could be a vacation. This is personal to each individual, but we shouldn't be shaming people for spending their hard earned money on things that make them happy. However, as a financial expert, I will caveat and say that when it comes to luxury spending, it is non-essential spending. And so you want to make sure that you're doing the following thing. Number one, prioritize your financial goals. This means that you have paid off your debt. It means that you have savings and investments and you feel financially secure before you go out and start making these large non-essential purchases that could impact your financial goals. Number two, save for the items you love and you want to buy. The last thing you want to do is put an expensive handbag or expensive watch on a credit card that is potentially compounding daily, weekly, or monthly. In my personal opinion, that completely defeats the purpose of luxury because there's no luxury, again, in my opinion, when you're paying high interest on an item that was not even an essential item in your life to begin with. So save for the items that you love and by saving money in a dedicated account for that luxury bag, for that luxury vacation, it actually gives you time to think through if you really want it, if you really want that particular item and you can plan accordingly, you know, saving money by building it into your budget to make sure that when you actually get to the point when you're able to buy it, you're doing this guilt-free without impacting the rest of your finances. And finally, number three, ignore the negativity. There are people who are always going to make assumptions about who you are, how you spend your money, etc., and that is perfectly fine because at the end of the day, it's not your problem, it's theirs. It's not you, it's them. <laughs> You want to make sure that you are spending your money for the right reasons because you love an item and not because you're trying to impress strangers on the internet or trying to keep up with the Joneses. Essentially make sure that you're spending your money in a way that's meaningful to you. And I will also say that sometimes making a luxury purchase may not be as satisfying as you expect it to be. And using that money, putting that money towards something else more meaningful might actually give you bigger satisfaction. So for example, giving back to community, supporting a charitable organization, helping someone in need, that might actually bring you bigger satisfaction than buying another luxury item. So again, you want to make sure that you're spending your money in a way that's meaningful to you. And like I've said throughout this video, there's absolutely nothing wrong with liking luxury items. I'm a huge fan of luxury items. I own luxury items, but again, you want to make sure that it's not impacting your finances or your financial goals. And you're truly happy about how you're spending your money. I think when it comes to luxury shopping, it's about creating a balance that you feel good about. So I would love to know your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? What are your thoughts on personal finance versus luxury shopping? Leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you have enjoyed watching this video. Head on over to Instagram to follow us there at Clever Girl Finance and be sure to stop by the clevergirlfinance.com website. We have over 30 plus completely free courses and over 40 plus completely free worksheets in addition to our amazing blog content to help you work on achieving your financial goals. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you soon.